This is my favourite city in Europe. Welcome to Vienna. My best friend lives here and I've been visiting her a few times a year for about five years now and every time I come to this city I love it. Whether it's winter and it's snowy and freezing or summer like it is now, 30 degrees and boiling, Vienna is just awesome to me. And over the last few months I've been thinking maybe I should move here seeing as I love it so much. The problem is I'm needing the UK quite a bit so I need to try and find somewhere flexible. Somewhere that I could rent for a couple days, for a couple weeks or for a couple months. And this place might be the answer. How about a room tour? This is the entryway, the kitchen, the very important coffee machine, the tea making cubby hole, the bathroom, the shower, the dining room slash work desk, the living room, the hidden retractable stairs, which lead to the bed, which is pretty big, the balcony, complete with swingy chair and construction noise. The reason for this trip is to find out whether or not I like this space and if I can see myself living here long term. After that little tour, my first impressions are pretty positive. Although it's only 24 square meters in here, it's really well thought out, so it doesn't actually feel really small and really cramped. The balcony really helps with that. I'm going to get settled and unpacked, then probably crash out for the night and I'll see you tomorrow for my first full day of living in Vienna. Just enjoying my morning coffee on the balcony. The uh, landscaping and building noise is slightly annoying, but I'll, I'll deal with it. It's already pretty warm, which is lovely. Definitely not complaining there. Gets sort of 26, 27 at the moment in Vienna, which is much nicer than the summer we've been having in England. I haven't really got a plan for the day. I've got a bunch of editing work I need to get done, so I'm probably gonna start on that in the little loft here. After that, there's a sort of work, work placey type area upstairs, which is sort of half we work, half cafe, half bar, I think. So I might go and do some work up there. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch, whether I go out, eat here, or go to a supermarket and get ingredients and cook something. I think that's the rough plan. I might just sit here and swing about for a little bit longer because it's very, very chilled. I've done some editing and had a few calls. Next, I'm gonna go upstairs and see what the workplace is like. My day has got really hectic very quickly, so I'm a bit short on time. That means that for lunch, I'm having a quick McDonald's. I haven't had Austrian McDonald's in a while, and something that I noticed when I ordered it is that here, you can get these sort of crinkle cut fries. Very excited about this. I'm gonna devour it and then get back to work. It's just gone half six and I think I am done working for the day. Time for a walk. I'm just walking around the area and so far it's lovely. It's quite close to the university so there's quite a lot of young people around and I've seen quite a lot of nice restaurants, Mexican food, Japanese sushi. So far, nice area. This pretty impressive looking building is the university library. It's definitely the coolest looking library I've seen. Even the inside of it looks like a Star Wars spaceship. There's a really interesting mix of architecture. I'm a big fan so far. I've just walked past a supermarket, so I'm gonna get some snacks for this evening and tomorrow morning. There's so much fruit. I was gonna cook supper, 
but I can't be bothered, so I think I'm gonna find somewhere to grab some dinner. Look at that yummy looking pizza. I had a lovely pizza for supper, now I'm gonna walk back to the flat because I'm pretty tired like that guy, I guess. It's almost 10 p.m. since I got back from supper. I've just been chilling here in the loft. I'm pretty tired, so I'm thinking about getting ready for bed, but just before I do that, I'm gonna go out for a little walk to see what the area is like at night when it's dark, see if it feels safe or not. And everything's really nicely lit, and it feels very safe. I've yet to encounter a dark alley. Every alleyway is just really well lit. There's one coming up now, which is extremely well lit. This alleyway's got better lighting than most studios I've been in. It's great. I am hearing occasional screaming in the distance, but that's because there's a theme park. It's not because there's people in danger. And we're back. Let's get the bed ready for sleeping. Good morning, I've just woken up. It is a lovely hot sunny day. It's already about 24 degrees and it's 8.30, so gonna be a lovely day. I am gonna start it with a iced latte. Gonna go upstairs and see if I can get something. I've come upstairs to the terrace to have my morning coffee and it is such a lovely vibe. It's sunny, it's about 25 degrees and it's just lovely up here. On my way back to my room to get some work done. I'm just having a little break from work on my swingy chair on my balcony, enjoying the sun. It's so nice being warm. I think it's so underrated in England, just the feeling of being warm all the time. Today is Friday and as the weather is so lovely, I think I'm going to treat myself to the afternoon off and I'm going to go and play some tennis. I'm awful at tennis, I haven't played in years, but it's Wimbledon at the moment back in the UK, so why not? My face is so red after an hour of tennis in 30 degrees. I'm not sure if it's from exertion or whether it's sunburnt, hopefully exertion. Really fun hour though. I'm gonna shower up and then head back to the flat. I'm back from tennis, it was really fun. I'm still awful at it, but fun nonetheless. I now need to pack up my stuff and check out. My time here is over but the mission for this trip was to decide whether or not this could be a place that I could stay long term. And the answer I think is yes. It is small, but it definitely feels big enough to live in, especially with the balcony. It doesn't feel sort of cramped and claustrophobic. It feels really nice. The terrace upstairs is great. The little workspace upstairs is nice, although I'd probably spend most of my time working in here. And once again, I just love the city. So overall, I'd say a successful couple of days. I hope you enjoyed seeing this little insight into my life. If you've made it this far in the video, then thank you so much for watching. YouTube reckons you'll really like this video. So if you haven't seen it already, then give it a watch and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.